Actually, somebody's calling me. Don't know that number. Anywho, we're gonna test a uh, little bit of accuracy with this Fax and Firearms uh, Glock 19, uh, Glock 17 barrel. We're not gonna shoot from a rest. I don't have the patience to do that. But we're just gonna see how it works um, with these uh, Amira Glow Fiber Optic sights. And I'm using this, what do you call this stuff? Sig Sauer ammo. So let's just see what kind of group I can get. We'll go up closer and look at it. That's really weird. I just got brand new OEM mags and it fell out. So maybe I didn't seat it well enough. I'm not sure. Well, you know, this is like 50 feet probably. Let's go look at this. All right. So let's just see, you know, 50, 60 feet. I wasn't really aiming too bad, but I had one little flyer guy go missing or whatever, but There's the group there. Um, I probably could have taken my time a lot better. But not too bad, right, you know? What's up, my favorite PewTubers? Welcome to 2018. Now I know I'm a little bit late. My last video that I uploaded the other day was theoretically recorded in 2017, so that's why I didn't say Happy New Year. But anyways, so I don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but there's actually a new community tab on YouTube where I can post pictures, I can take polls and things like that. Um, if you wanna know about that, you gotta hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe icon, that way you get notifications. Because what I'm gonna start doing is, especially for those of you who don't have Facebook and Instagram and can't follow me over there, this is a great way for me, for you to see when I start leaking stuff before the video comes out. Cause that's kind of how I do things like with my social media. I kind of give everyone like a, a teaser of things to come before it hits video. So this video is gonna piss probably a lot of Glock barrel companies off today. And the reason I say that is there is this little known secret in the firearms industry. Well, it's not really a secret, but it is a secret. A lot of people know about it, some people don't. So approximately 90 or 95% of every single Glock barrel that we've reviewed have been made by one company. Now there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, I, I always, it always cracks me up when I look at comments and I look into forums or wherever, and people are fighting over which is the better barrel, but in reality, they're identical. Why do I say all this? Well, today we're gonna review a barrel that isn't made by the same company. This is a Faxon Glock barrel right here. And you guys know about Faxon, right? They manufacture all the barrels in-house. Everything is done in Cincinnati, Ohio, and they have high quality standards. And another thing, sneak peek of something coming up. Remember in my 300 blackout video, I told you I was gonna do a 300 blackout upper? Well, this isn't a complete build yet. This is just the upper. This, this lower is not what's gonna go on it. I have another lower, but I'm just waiting on the lower parts and everything to come in. But this is a flame fluted 300 blackout barrel from Fax and Firearms. That'll be coming up probably in the next week or so. I don't know if you guys watched my land tack review video, but in that video, I said, dude, like I'm kind of getting burnt out on reviewing Glock barrels. And that's why it was because none of them are really different from one another. And I know they're not going to be, even if they were made by separate people. That's why a lot of times why I don't do accuracy reviews too. It's like, well, they're not going to be more accurate than this one typically, um, because they're all made by the same people by the, to the same specs. So I'm pr I'm really excited about this because when I went to the Iraq veteran 8888 shoot back in October, I saw the Faxon guys there and they actually sent me home with this Glock 17 threaded barrel. Now this barrel isn't substantially different than any other Glock barrel out there. You know, it has the same type of specs and things like that. The accuracy right now, I have about 800 rounds going through this pig and we're going to dive up close. We're going to take a look at this and I'm going to show you guys, we're going to talk about how it's wearing on the coating. We're going to talk about how the lugs are, if they're marring up or not. Now there's a difference between coating scratching off and marring. And that's why I wanted to talk about that. We're going to talk about the threaded portion. We're going to talk about the length of it. We're going to go over everything. And then at the very end of the review, I'll give you my final thoughts on whether or not I think it's worth the money or not. But I'll just be straight up with you and give you a little bit of a spoiler alert. This is a badass little barrel. So let's dive up close. So here we are up close with my Glock 17 build. I actually put some uh, Arsenal Democracy parts on here. I took my trigger, put it in the Glock 17 because they sent me a magwell as well. And just a heads up guys, these triggers are on a huge back order right now. So if you want one, you're gonna have to wait for it. It's just a heads up on that. And I don't even know if they're even available for purchase right now, but the magwell, very nice. It's got this brass insert. 
down in here. Got the frame from Carl at Legion Precision. These frames are like 75 bucks. Like I said, I will put a complete build list down in the description below, just in case you see something you like and see something you want to pick up. Got the Enforce APL Gen 3 on here. Got the Polymer 80 tan slide. Got some Merglow sights. And I got the uh, Faxon Glock 17 threaded barrel on here. So let's take this apart real quick and look at it because this barrel is really nice. Gotta find me a rag so I can wipe this pig off a little bit. So let's give this pig just a real quick wipe down type clean. I'm not gonna worry about getting it super clean. Just wanna wipe it down so we can see everything. That way we can see how the barrel's holding up and on the wear and the finish and things like that. Well, there it is in all its glory. You'll notice some things that are a little bit different, especially compared to like either the stock or other Glock barrels. Um, they got a chamfer right here on this edge on both edges at the top. They got some uh, engraving here. And then right up here, it says G19, Glock 17. Has their logo there, Faxon, very tastefully done. It's not gonna look gaudy in your gun. You know, I like how they didn't color fill the letters. That's kind of important to me, as far as aesthetics are concerned. The flutes on it, this is what this is what's called flame fluting. And they've done the same thing to their 300 blackout barrel that I'll be showing you in some future videos coming up. And then it is a threaded portion. And this is what the thread protector looks like. And here's the thread protector in all its glory. And it's a nice little barrel. It is held up very well. So let's, let's jump into this. Let me get up here close to the lugs. Nowhere whatsoever on the finish, on the lugs, no marring. Let's go to the other side here. Nowhere there. Nowhere right here where it usually gets a lot of wear. This is 800 rounds later. And then this is just dirt that's really on there if I can get it a good cleaning. So you can see the threads going all the way down. Let me zoom it out. So the specs on this are very much identical to other uh, nine mm other Glock barrels that we've tested, you know, 416R stainless steel. It's also got the nine millimeter Sammy spec chambering, um, tighter tolerances, yet better fitment and lockup. I'm reading from their website, by the way. I'm not, this isn't my opinions. This is just what's on their site. It's got a uh, 11 degree, what they call an 11 degree target crown. Um, I'm guessing that helps with accuracy. I don't know. One in 10 twist rate. It's got the uh, button rifled. The inside finish is salt bath nitrided. The outside, before they put the titanium nitride on it, it's also salt bath nitrided. So even if this coating does wear off, there's a nitride coating underneath. So even better, more durability, especially if you live in like very salty environments like near the coast or in very moist environments like humid. And that way you don't get to worry about rust or anything. And I just definitely dig this barrel. So let's take a look at the lockup on this and see how it fares. No movement. This is snug as a bug in a rug. Ain't nothing moving right here. Super tight lockup. Looks beautiful, especially if I think if you had windows on your gun, uh, windows on your slide, it would look beautiful with those uh, flame flutes. But anyways, right, like this is it right here. I will say one con to this, I guess, and it's not really a con because they're dirt cheap. It didn't come with this O-ring. It came with no O-rings. And I just, you know, I have a pack of O-rings that I bought from like the 99 cent store a long time ago. So I just threw one of those on there because without an O-ring, these thread protectors and stuff will back off. So I definitely had to do that, but very nice little guy here. Man, this has been a blast to shoot. It's just been a lot of fun. Let's jump up top real quick. Let me talk, let's talk about the price, where you can get it, and whether or not I think this is worth your money or not. Back up top. So there you have it, guys. That is the Glock barrel from Fax and Firearms. I will say, this has been a pretty awesome little barrel. It works really well. Uh, it basically, wherever you point it, it's gonna hit the target. I mean, if you're inaccurate, the barrel's gonna be inaccurate. I never suggest buying barrels for accuracy or anything like that. You know, if you're gonna buy a barrel because you like the way it looks, buy it because of the way it looks. Well, for me, the number one reason I usually get aftermarket barrels is because I like the threaded portion. I like to know if I can run a compensator on it if I so choose, or in the future, whenever we get into suppressors, I can put suppressors on it. That way I'm not stuck with just one barrel that's threaded. I can test different ones and see how they perform with 
different devices. So that's the number one reason for me. And the second reason is because I like the way they look. I also typically always test them on the Glock OEM frames because I've noticed with Polymer 80 frames, nothing against Polymer 80, I love them. I haven't noticed any differences in accuracy between the Polymer 80 frames and the OEM frames. However, you don't get as tight a lockup on a Polymer 80 frame as you do a stock frame. And I think that has to do with the dimensions of the locking block that is on the Polymer 80 frame. All in all, I mean, there's really not a negative thing to say about this. Uh, the price is right. You know, I think they're around 200 ish dollars. But, you know, like I said in my Lantac video, you know, with that barrel, it was like a $27 difference between the threaded and non thread. This is like a $9 difference. This is standard. And I like that. You know, they're not price gouging, which is a good thing. And I love it. It's a great little barrel. Links will be below. That way you guys can do some price comparison. You can get them in threaded and non-threaded, all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, I really just don't have a con about this and I hate to say that because sometimes when you don't say anything negative about a product, people assume you're being paid or being paid off and that's not the case. It's just this barrel's badass and it works like a charm. The coating is held up very well. It's as accurate as you can be and the lockup is super tight. And that's the main three things that I look for in a barrel. Other people may look for other things, but for me, I, I honestly can't find a con about it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you, if you enjoyed this video. And also make sure you keep an eye out for the new videos that are coming out very soon. The new camera should be here next week and that way I can get started on it. So until next time, I love you and you guys stay sexy.